Welcome back. The debate and convention are sure to make a huge impact on our local com community and economy. So joining us tonight is Nikki Purvis from the African American Chamber of Commerce and Tim Sheehy from the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce. Thank you both for being here. Tim, as you know, what happens in that building behind us and next summer for the Republican National Convention will be 100 percent hardball politics. But let's talk about what you and your organization are doing to talk about what's happening beyond the politics in the city for this big event. I really like to think of us as the Green Party. We're here to <laughs> showcase Milwaukee and bring the money in. If you look at the vendor fair today, 250 companies were there. If you think about it, there are 56 individual delegations that will come to the convention, all looking to spend money, events, go out to dinner and do those types of things. So it's not just the delegates here and what's going on inside the convention, it's the spending across the city that excites us. And Nikki, you know, we're talking about a $200 million impact, financial impact statewide. So my question is, what are you saying to your members to get them to make sure they're at the table for a piece of that pie? So Shannon, what's really important for me to convey to our members is that regardless of their political affiliation, there is money that is accessible and available to them. And if they aren't interested in doing business with the host committee specifically, there are still op opportunities with the city of Milwaukee um, and because there will be uh, contracts that are executed on an ongoing basis. Tim, you talk about the vendors that were there today, but um, is this about people being in the right place or the right time? It's very accessible. You can go to the RNC site, the host committee. There's a portal there. You can put your business in. I chair the RFP committee as we go through this. We're looking for people that are local. We're looking to spend that money local. We're looking for companies that come in nationally to partner locally. We're working with chambers um, uh, to do that. So really our focus is to get that money spread and spent here. And both of you have been very integral in bringing the DNC and the RNC here to our city. How does it feel? Is there a sense of civic pride when we've gotten chosen not once but twice? Absolutely. Uh, we definitely have something to prove, and we are a phenomenal city. We have phenomenal entrepreneurs. We have phenomenal residents here, and it's only right that we be able to realize some of that economic impact. Tim, are you seeing that team effort as well? You were a part of the 2020 effort, and now here in 2024. Yeah, it's very much a team. The mayor, the county executive have been fantastic. Uh, and again, just to watch the evening news, see the city showcased, Milwaukee is one of those cities that a lot of people haven't been to. When they see it, it changes perception just on site. And not to mention that Milwaukee is like in the middle, Chicago, Minneapolis. People don't think we really have a lot to offer. Yeah, we do. I mean, even beyond just the traditional types of things, there's so much culture, rich culture in our community and in our neighborhoods. And we really want the delegates and all other visitors to be able to experience that. Everyone should experience Everyone. it, right? Absolutely. No matter what your political beliefs are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us and sweating it out up here <laughs> with us. Uh, we know it's uh, an it's exciting night for the city of Milwaukee. And so uh, when people look at it beyond just the political event and the chance to showcase Milwaukee, we're getting it tonight. We just didn't know it would be 110. <laughs> In the shade. In the shade. <laughs> but it's great to be with two cool broadcasters. Oh. Oh. And, a fan does, and a fan underneath the table doesn't help, right? That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.